Content moderation on social media platforms is a constant tightrope walk. Platforms strive to create thriving online environments that attracts users and advertisers, but the methods used to achieve this can have unintended consequences. On one hand, content moderation fosters a safe and inclusive space by removing harmful content like hate speech, harassment, and misinformation, platforms encourage meaningful user interaction and content creation. This positive environment can lead to increased user engagement, a key metric for attracting advertisers. Studies suggest that a well-moderated platform with a focus on civil discourse can actually see a rise in user activity as people feel more comfortable in expressing themselves freely. However, content moderation can also be a double-edged sword. Overly strict moderation practices can alienate user groups who feel their voice is being silenced. Disgruntled users may migrate to alternative platforms perceived as having more relaxed moderation policies. There's a well-documented phenomenon where users gravitate towards controversial content. It is called outreach marketing and it can generate clicks and engagements as users react to, argue about, or even share such content. While this might boost short-term user engagement, it presents a significant risk for advertisers. Controversial content can be seen as brand unsafe, leading to advertiser pullout. In recent years, platforms like YouTube and Twitter have been introducing premium service tiers. These tiers offer users access to exclusive content from partners and streamers, including pay-per-view events where users can purchase access to live stream and exclusive video content, direct interaction with creators, subscribers can bypass ads and engage with creators in features like live chats and exclusive forums, and early access to content. Subscribers might get to see new videos and streams before they are available to the general public. The impact of content moderation extends beyond user engagement. Advertisers are wary of being associated with negative content. Platforms with rampant hate speech or misinformation risk losing advertisers seeking a brand safe environment for their campaigns. Stricter moderation can improve brand safety, making the platforms more attractive to advertisers and potentially increasing advertiser revenue. However, moderation can also limit advertiser reach. If content that certain demographics find appealing is removed, advertisers targeting those groups may look elsewhere. Hi guys, I'm sorry because I'm just wearing deadbeat sandals or t-shirts and I'm talking about this topic. But it should be not left anymore or I don't want to waste any more time about talking about this. So essentially, user engagement is the lifeblood of a platform. It's a critical metric of assessing the success and sustainability of social networking sites. Because without users, they wouldn't exist and their sites would be down the algorithm of Google searches and such and people will likely less use it, making it less advertiser friendly. And effective moderation ensures that we get high quality and relevant content that more users are talking about in the meantime to enhance their overall experience because they would be curious about certain things that they could laugh at, get angry at, or solicit an emotional response so that they can they will still continue using the site and interacting with different people. However, this can be removed by excessive moderation, especially if those content fall in gray areas and users expressing their opinions may get bullying and harassment remarks from the AI bots, which they cannot defend against or refute 
leading to a decline in engagement because people are afraid that their accounts would be deleted. So, to maintain content quality, it's essential also for user engagement because it helps without remade or reused and re-uploaded low-quality content that no one is engaging at or no one is talking about. And it enable for the platform to attract loyal users, they need original content. Conversely, if your moderation is not well fitted, it could lead to cluttered feeds, diminishing satisfaction and engagement because users users are not seeing the content that they want. So we need to find the right balance. Especially advertisers deal with a lot with regulatory compliance with different media boards, advertiser relationships, or when an advertiser chooses another media for no another based on what the social media pays them to be their exclusive content provider and the reputation of the brand as well. So we need to find the right balance between content moderation and user satisfaction. Here are some strategies that I that we could re reconsider. First and foremost, transparency and clear guidelines to define content that are transparently communicated to users and manage expectations to reduce frustration. This is essentially done with sensitive content like operations, medical procedures, and other things containing gore. And there should be a new ones and Instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach or generic approach, platforms can explore tiered moderation systems that address the severity of the offense and its cultural biases and the meaning of the pictures being posted, the semiotics and semantics included in the post. It can be done by AI as well. The community can also involve in engaging users through their efforts of reporting and plugging mechanisms that foster sense of ownership so they can self-moderate or decentralize moderate their own communities that they built on the site where they interact with a multitude of users coming in and out. And they can also invest in AI to counter-check it. Well, there's an ongoing debate about this. The impact of content moderation and user engagement and platform profitability is a complex and ongoing debate as of now, as we don't have anything, anything that would regularize it. It's still a wild west out there, and platforms are, are given leeways in order to guard themselves. Striking the right balance requires careful consideration of user needs, advertiser demands, and the ever-evolving nature of online content. As technology and social norms continue to evolve, platforms should adapt their content moderation strategies to challenge navigating landscape, especially in guarding communities, niche communities that are appearing as of now, especially with the LGBTQ community being more forward and other things related to that that may come forward in the future as societal norms develop.